welcome. Thank you for coming. Hi, everyone who's just come in now. Um, so um, while we're just waiting for the last um, few people to, to come in, um, hello, for those of you who don't know, I'm Sarah from Rest Bands England. Um, the few of us here tonight, also joined by Kenny, pointing this way as if he is here. Um, <laughs> also from Rest Bands England, and Thea and Duncan and Georgia from Crowdfunder. So hello, everyone. Thank you so much, the guys from Crowdfunder. For, um, for joining us today and doing this coaching session. I um, hope that everyone will find it really, really valuable. I'm sure that they will. Um, so for this session, um, please, please do put any questions that you've got into the chat. Um, this, is, this is the chance that you've got the guys here to ask anything about kind of the initial stages of, of setting up your page. So make sure you get your questions in now. Um, we, um, it's a relatively short session tonight. So we're going to be doing kind of a 20 minute presentation running through stuff and then a quick fire round of questions right at the end um, to, to go through anything that you might have um, to ask there. So, so now's your chance, so make sure you pop them in there and we'll answer as we go. Um, I think that's probably all for me. I think hand over to you guys to get going. Great, good evening everyone. Um, so I'm Duncan, um, I am part of the crowdfunder team and my job this evening is really just to share with you what makes a great crowdfunder page. It's part of a series of, of webinars that we have done and are doing. Um, all of them are being recorded so if you've missed one don't worry and uh, if you can't make the next one don't worry you can still catch up on it. Um, I'm just going to share my screen with you and, and whip through a few things for you. Okay, give that a second to load. Give me a nod if you can see it, panellists. Are we, are we good? Great. Good stuff. OK, so um, just to bring you uh, up to speed, I think you should know that we're going to be running a campaign in association with Brass Bands England called Save Our Brass Bands. It's hot on the tail of other such campaigns such as Save Our Theatres, uh, Save Our Venues, Pay It Forward, um, all of which have done incredibly well and raised lots and lots of money for really important local community um, uh, projects, uh, organizations, venues, you get the idea. Um, and we're, we're going to be running this uh, with, with a, a view to, to brass bands. So um, I'm going to just share with you a few things that we're going to go through this evening. Uh, how does this move forward? Here we go. Right. Um, so ju just a bit, a few housekeeping room rules. If you could pop the name of the band that you are representing this evening into the chat, that will help um, me and my colleagues just know who you are and where you're from and uh, say hi. Um, please include in the chat whether or not you've started creating your page yet. Um, that will also help us just um, make sure this evening's useful for you. Um, if you haven't created your page yet, um, there's a link here. Uh, we're gonna share these slides with you, so don't feel like you have to take notes. We'll circulate these after, but this is the link where you will do that and start to create your, your page for your campaign to raise money for your band. Um, but what we're gonna do this evening is really look at how we create the very best page possible. Um, as I say, this is the second of three webinars. The first one was all about what is crowdfunding? How do you plan your project? Tonight's all about creating your project. Um, and then we've got another one um, that we'll give you the date for at the end of this, just talking about how to run your project, how to, to really plan a really good uh, project and run it as it goes. OK, so let's talk about your page. I'm going to talk for, for no more than 20 minutes. Um, and uh, then the, the questions that you're asking in the chat, if they haven't been answered by my colleagues, we're going to address those live and, and start talking about some of them. So the, the first thing I would just want you to start to think about is how do you make your page look really nice, giving it some visual texture, something that means when people come to it, they don't just kind of bombarded by a load of words and they're really bored within, within 30 seconds. We've got to capture everyone's um, imagination straight away. So, so number one, I just want you to think about what images you're going to use on your page. I'm going to show you an example of a few pages in a minute and you'll see what I mean by having a great image that captures people's attention um, and um, uh, gets them to engage with your page. So here's just some top tips. Make sure your picture includes some people. So it may be some people playing brass instruments would be really good. Um, make sure it's in a good place. Um, so something that captures the imagination. It could be a beautiful landscape. It could be a brilliant concert hall. Um, it could be outside a, a well-known building in your town, whatever it may be, and make sure it's really good quality. 
um, what we hate to see is some blurry pictures or something that that was a bit wobbly uh, and cut someone's head off. It's got to be really good. It's got to capture it. Um, feel free to repurpose pictures you're, you've already got and you can overlay some graphics. I'm going to show you a good example of that in a minute. Um, it's great to drop in some infographics if you've got any um, that just tell a bit of a story without people having to read words. So uh, something that that captures people imagination you know how many concerts you do a year or how many people come and listen to the band or um the the you know something around the history of the band get someone to create an infographic if you know um uh, someone that's a bit younger than me and a bit of a whiz on a computer and really understand how to do this these are very easily done loads of free software out there uh, to create a very cool infographic um, make sure the text that you're putting into your project page is broken up. Don't just do a big long splurge. That's stuff I used to get told off for when I was at school, when I was writing essays, just, you know, writing it as though I was talking. Make sure you're using headings. Make sure you're using some of the different um, uh, font sizes and, and bolds and italics, all of that to break it up. We've got loads of tools in there. It's like using a Word document, if you're familiar with that, and you can really bring the text um, text to life. Um, and then finally, make sure that you've got some testimonials in there. What do people think about your band? You know, get get some of the uh, people in your band to say stuff, get some of the people that are the recipients of what your band does, whether it's some band training in schools or, or some people that come to your concerts or some uh, a local celeb who is a big fan of your band. Let's get some testimonials in there that break, a, break up the text, but also give some credibility to the importance of your band in your town. Okay, so I'm gonna keep whipping through. I'm gonna go really fast. I'm really sorry, we've got maximum 30 minutes here this evening and I'm, I'm gonna talk for not all of that. So this is just about your main image. Here's one that was really bad, the Ash Bowling Club floodlights. I hope no one's on here from Ash Bowling Club. Uh, you'll see I've chosen one that's pretty niche. Um, they gave us a picture of a light, which is quite good because it's to do with the subject. They were raising money for new floodlights, but it's the dullest picture ever. And what's going to happen is your, your project will be visible to the crowd on our page and, and it will be in the mix of a grid like this. So when you send people to your page, that's fine. They'll see your page. They won't see anything else. But if they're just scrolling through Crowdfunder, they're going to see a grid of projects so yours needs to be something that really stands out and the ones on this page really do most of these ones on the left hand side really stand out and they all did really well in terms of the crowdfund unlike ash bowling club who unfortunately did not hit their crowdfunding target so let's get a great image um i spoke in my first slide about repurposing an image and overlaying some graphics so if you've got someone that can do that for you here's a lovely one it's a great lovely picture of the cornish coast but what they've done is put the title of their project over the top of the picture to really capture the imagination and draw people's eyes to that. Um, so if you can do something like that, it's always a great idea. Get creative with that. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it in other ways. Um, we're, we're going to ask you to create a video for your page. Now, please don't panic. This isn't a block bluster, Hollywood blockbuster that you need to create. It's not something you have to go spend money on. Get your phone do a selfie video, do a piece to camera, get a couple of people speaking. It doesn't have to be beautifully edited. What it has to be is authentic and it has to tell the story of what you're raising money about. Be completely honest about what you're raising money about. And most of all, keep it short and sweet. But if, if, it's, if it's over three minutes, it's too long. It's got to be between two and three minutes. The shorter, the better. Um, make sure it's someone speaking to camera. Um, that's really powerful. Get someone really um, who, who's good in front of the camera and can express what it is you're raising money for. Um, and a, a few good tips. If you're good at ad libbing, fine. But if not, make sure there's a script that covers all the things that you want to say in it. Um, be prepared. And, and obviously do it in the right place. Don't do it in a dark room. Do it in somewhere that means something to the band or to the town or to the community um, that really expresses who you are and what you're trying to do. OK, and then then the important bit about telling your story. Now, this this also relates to your video, actually. So you can use this um, for, for writing that script for the video. But this is also about the text that you're going to put under your image and your video. Um, and I, I've tried to make it easy to remember. But again, I'm going to share these slides with you. So it's five W's and, a, and an H. You'll, you'll get these really quick. Who are you? Make sure you tell people who you are. What are you trying to do? Why is it important? 
where will it happen? When will it happen? And how will it happen? And, and then I've just put some key words in this bubble for you. Make sure it's really passionate. Make sure it's really um, uh, honest and authentic. What is it you're raising money for? And why are you having to do this? Tell the story of what's gone on, what, what concerts you haven't been able to do this year, what that's meant financially, how much you normally expect to come into the band, what you're going to spend that money on. All of those things are really critical. And make sure it's really engaging. Use plain language. It doesn't have to be convoluted or really beautifully written. Just write in plain English and, and be very clear. And, and make sure the personality of the band comes through. Don't be afraid to use a bit of humour. Um, we always talk about fun drazing. You know, make it fun, make it engaging. That kind of, which is, you know, that's the personality of brass banding anyway. So make, make sure that comes through. Don't try and be too authoritative or formal is probably the word I'm looking for. Um, and here's just some some great, great tips. So have an opening statement, a big headliner. This is what we're doing. You know, what's your elevator pitch? And then I've covered the other stuff. What are you trying to achieve? What makes your project great? Why should people give to it? Why is it important? Who are you? Um, and how's the money going to be spent? Don't be scared to say that. Um, and um, include here what your rewards are. Um, and we, we covered what rewards are in our first webinar like this that, that we can circulate the link on uh, if you want if you want to catch up on that but essentially rewards enable you to incentivize people to give so rather than them just donate they can get you to come and um, play a carol outside their house if they give enough money as an example but there's we gave lots of examples of rewards um, in in the first session okay um here's just a top tip it's not really about creating your page but i think it's really important to mention um we we share a, a project plan with you that helps you develop a great project and one of the most important things is getting a team together don't feel like you have to do everything yourself and that includes when you're creating the page who can you task to make the video who can you task to help write the story and create the page have you got a good copywriter have you got someone that's in marketing or is just really good at clearly communicating or is great on video or whatever it may be just have a little think about that and um, make sure you include them rather than um, quite often it's we kind of feel we have to do everything ourselves just to get it done um, but it's worth a little think if, if you've got that um, it, with you did I skip two pages there I think I did um, here we go. So when you start to create your page, it, it's really easy. So it's not hard. We give we don't let you not fill in boxes. So we give you a bunch of boxes where you have to say things and we give you maximum number of words and we give you some restrictions so that we help you create a beautiful page. You don't have to be a coder, as an example, to make it happen. You just have to fill the boxes in. So just as examples here, we're saying, what's the name of your project? Um, and then we'll give you a web address that fits that so that you've got a really nice web address that you can point people to. It'll say something like crowdfunder.co.uk forward slash the name of your band. It will come through. Um, and then you can share that in on your social media and what have you. And ju just as a little reminder, one of the things you really need to do is tick the box where you see extra funding. Some of you will be um, uh, able to get extra funding out of this. We call it match funding um, because uh, lots of different county councils and, and corporate funders give us money to distribute to community projects. So some of you will qualify for that and some of you won't. But what will happen is when, if you tick this box, as you're building your project, we'll let you know whether you qualify for some of that match funding. Um, apologies if you don't. Uh, we'll be best friends if you do, I'm sure. Um, then the, starting to bring it all together, this is what the different areas where you start to tell that story that I've been telling you about, how you do it, what's the aim of your project, how can you tell your story? And if you have a look in the bottom right where I've got the red circle, you can see some of the formatting tools that we give you to make your text look really interesting with headings, subheadings, being able to make it bold, dropping in a video, dropping in a, a photograph in different ways. We also encourage you, we tell you other times to put pictures and videos in as well, but you can also drop it into the main text. So this is all really useful when you're when you're building it. But you, if you're used to using a computer, if you've ever used Facebook, if you've ever filled in an insurance quote, you're not going to find this difficult. It's really easy to do. Um, then you're going to get to how much money you're trying to raise. Now, th this is really important to, uh, to get to. You need to really, your story needs to lead to why you need this money. So that should tell you how much money you need to raise. 
Um, we, we had one on the platform the other day and they needed 47 million and the story didn't really make sense. Uh, so uh, it's always interesting that people think if I just put loads of money in, I'm sure magically it'll all appear. That obviously doesn't happen. It's got to be really realistic. Why do you need the money? Why do you need that much? Um, and you need to have a bit of a plan of how you're going to raise that money um, and based on the people that you know and, and the audience that you, you put together. But also tell us what the stretch target is. So let's say you need £5,000 so you don't get kicked out of your band room um, because you've got to pay some bills. Um, that'd be great to raise £5,000. But if you were to raise £10,000, um, you could not only ensure that the band room's covered for the, for the next 12 months, but also you can make it COVID safe and get all the equipment that you need to make sure that happens. Um, so what's the stretch target and why is that important? And you can, you can give your audience a good example of that there. So I just want to show you um, and point you towards some pages that A, do all of those things really well that I've just told you about, and B, raise the money that they were looking for. So they hit their target and they engage lots of supporters. And that's really, that, that, that's what the secret of a good crowdfunding site. So um, I'm not expecting you to, to go and have a look at these now. When we circulate the notes, I just want you to go to crowdfunder on, in Google, put crowdfunder and then the name of the project. And this pay, the pages will come up and you'll find them. And you can have a look at some really great crowdfunding projects that have got great video, great description of what they're trying to do, lovely photos, really engaging. They've got good rewards and they did very well. Actually, all of these overfunded. Um, and, and the secret to crowdfunding is, is kind of following the rules. If you follow the rules of making a great page, and then in our next webinar, we're going to teach you how to do how we think you reach out to the crowd and do the marketing. If you follow the, the, the two rules, um, you'll, you'll have a great experience. I'm pretty sure of it. We always know when people have missed out some of the rules and and they don't have quite as good a time so uh, but we'll help you all through that um here's one that's a bit more relevant to to the subject matter i don't know if you know Hyde Park Brass I'd never heard of them until they came to crowdfunder the bunch of five five guys who are trying to make a living out of playing their brass instruments so they're music students and they they um they run around the country doing outdoor concerts um and they're a bit kind of, um uh, they're not very traditional in terms of their, their, their playing. They dance around and they, they provide, they really bring the party actually. Um, and they raise their money really quickly. Ignore that it was raised in 133 days. They've just left their project open. They raised their, their, their money in 20 days and they were looking for 9,000 pounds just to keep them going during lockdown. Um, and they, they managed to do it, but now they've left their project open. So people can still donate and they can book them. They're using it as their booking system to go and um, do different concerts around, around the country. But that's one to go and have a look at as well. Um, the, the, if nothing else, their videos, a lot of fun. Okay, so in summary, um, think about the structure of your page layout. Make sure you're using headings, break up that text. Use images to break up the text. Use really clear images, something that really projects who you are and what you're trying to raise money for. Add a video if you can. Highly, highly recommend you use a video just to tell your story, um, even if it is just a selfie video that, that someone does. Make sure you tell, tell your story clearly what's the call to action what are you asking people to do donate fundraise for you um, we provide a little fundraising button on your page so you know one of your band members can go and run a marathon raise lots of money for you or can do a play-a-thon or a sponsored silence whatever it may be um, make sure that you're promoting your rewards what it is you're offering to encourage people to be super generous Make sure you don't do it all yourself. Um, that's super important. Make sure you get a team. The more, the more you can spread the load on this one, the better. And make sure you have a stretch target because, you know, if, if you follow the rules, I think you'll probably need to, um, need to think about that. What is it? If we hit the first target, what's our next um, milepost? Okay, so what we're going to do um, just in the last few minutes is have a look at some pages that have been created already, um, as long as I can work the technology here. Um, and Thea's just going to point out a few things that we would do to improve these. And with massive apologies to, to Hatfield, Barnsley and Bournemouth, because um, we, we, you know, we're using this as, to, as a coaching session, really, to say, look, if we think you should do this. We'll also do that one to one with all of the bands. As you create your page, you're going to get some feedback from us. Um, but we're just going to do a little bit of that live and try and be kind about it. Okay, let me try and work the tech. Is this going to work? Here we go. 
can you see the the page has that moved with me oh, great yes that, that. that's worked Duncan. thank there you, you go. Um, great. So this is um, a project that Hatfield and Askin Band have uh, put together and actually already gone live with. So they're, they're a little bit early on the campaign because we're as the campaign uh, overall is going live in a couple of weeks. Um, these guys are, are a bit early on that. Um, and I'm actually speaking them, uh, to them on a one to one basis in a couple of days to talk them through some of the things I'm going to say today to you guys. Um, so as you can see, they've got a great picture there. We love it. Um, however, it could be moved further down in the page into the sort of story tell, and they could add a short video piece to camera um, as Duncan's already covered. So videos are really, really powerful. Um, we can see they've also, um, they're still on zero. So what we do say is don't launch until you've um, already got some funds uh, and supporters behind you um, because otherwise it's that getting off zero that takes you know you need the momentum there from the from the get-go so um, again that's that's something that I'll speak to them about um, they have described in this top right corner they have described um, their project which is great could be a little bit more succinct so you really want to be concise in what your project aims to do in that little section there um, and if you could just scroll down a bit Great, so they've got another lovely picture, um, which is wonderful. So that's that's a good thumbs up. Um, and you can see, sorry, go back a bit, Dong. So they have added their um, Facebook in there, which is which is great. Um, so you can add your social media channels in there if you have them. Um, and they have also put their first post out, which links through to this page. But then they neglected to sort of put a piece of um, content around it. They kind of haven't said, um, the reason for for supporting them so it's just a link through to this page which you know you can build on that and think about your messaging um, and the social content we've actually got a session next week which will look, focus on uh, the promotional side of things um, and actually we've had we have provided a posting plan which gives you wording that you can use on your social media for that purpose Cool. So then they talk about um, why we're crowdfunding, which is which is great, um, and a bit about the band as well. And they've even they've used um, within there they've highlighted some people that have kind of emerged from that band, which is some you know some big names and things, which is great. But you know you could you could highlight that you could have pictures of those people to really bring to life um, what's what's come out of um, your existence as a band, I suppose. Mm. So um, that's kind of a quick summary on that one. They don't uh, have any rewards yet. So normally um, they would be showing just on the right hand side here, but you can see it's blank. So they haven't maybe thought of rewards or maybe they don't have any, have any to offer that they can think of just yet. Um, again, that's something I'll discuss with them when I have my coaching call. Um, so perhaps we could look at the second link that we had there, Duncan. So Barnsley, I know we've got um, someone from Barnsley here today. So um, let's just have a quick look at your page. So you're still in temp, uh, lovely picture again, um, and a really nice succinct aim there. You know, you've talked about how much is required and what it, what it will be used for, which we love. So if you can be specific about what the funds will be spent on, that, that's really important um, to include. So you've done that, which is great. And again, you've got fantastic rewards. I love the um, carol singing one, you know, a band CD. That's, yeah, mm. thumbs up. <laughs> that's on, really good. On this one, I'd love to see the bass players doing a fundraiser as well. I think that'd be really good, even if it was just, a, you know, a, a tuba thon or something, you know, of just uh, 24 mm. hours of, of tuba tunes. Um, a bit of Herbie Flowers, Tuba Smarties or whatever going on for 24 hours would just be wonderful and get people to sponsor that. The, the more fun, the better. So what we can do is add, as well as a donate button that appears here, we can have a fundraise button here. So individual people can go and fundraise for that. Um, and to do that, just pop me an email and ask for, for a multiplier to be turned on and I can do that. That's that's the fundraising um, process. So, oh. Have we moved on? I had a few more oh, things sorry. for Barnsley. Sorry, <laughs> I, I was getting all excited. 
let me uh so, um another thing for Barnsley although we do have that lovely picture that again could be moved down into the main text um and again a video in that top spot there would, would really bring to life what you're fundraising for if you could um show the instruments and kind of you know really bring to life uh why they need refurbishing really um and, and explain that um in your video i think that would be really helpful um and also as part of this page i love the history side of it this, that you've um put into your main text that's really really strong and again i think perhaps you could do with another um image of some of the young people that um you've worked with or are working with um and a maybe a testimonial from a young person I thought would be would be quite good in there as well. Yeah. Um, just on while we're talking about rewards, one of the things you can do that we haven't mentioned previously is we we can run um, like a, a, a raffle, a prize draw on here. So one of your rewards could just be as simple as a prize draw. You know, everyone chuck in. If you want something really accessible to everyone at a five or a ten or, or whatever you think the right price is, you can do a prize draw for something and it could be to conduct the band or whatever it, whatever you think the right prize would be. Um, but that's something you can include in here as well, which is really nice. But I quite like the spread of prices on on the um, on the rewards on this one. It's good. There's a there's a little bit of something for everyone. But I wouldn't be afraid to stick a big one in there for a corporate to support you as well you know, that will come and play at your corporate Christmas Christmas service or carol service, whatever it is, and that's a thousand pound or whatever you think the right price may be. You know, if you've got a really big employer in your town, you could point them towards it. So if I was in Derby, I'd be writing to Rolls Royce saying, you know, support our brass band, we'll come and play at your Christmas service, 2000 pound, please, you know, and just point corporates towards it. So don't be afraid to put some punchy ones down there as well, because we often see you know, people come in and, and support in that way. Sorry, Fia. That's all right. If you are going to um, take that approach, it's also worth tagging in um, corporates into your social media. So um, have some social posts that are specifically selling that reward uh, and then and then finding the at handles of those businesses and tagging them in just to try and get the attention of their social media person. Cool. And obviously phoning them and, and speaking to them that way as well. OK, so Bournemouth Marching Band brilliant that they've included a video it really brings to life you know what what the band's about i love this video it just needs a little additional sort of piece to camera in there um to explain what they're fundraising for um so if you can just scroll down cool so again with this one i thought um it would be brought to life a little more with um, some young mus musicians, just pictures of them um, and bringing to life some of the youth activity um, that, that the band does. Um, perhaps pictures of them at a carnival and in, in an arena, that kind of thing, just to break up some of this text because it's quite text heavy otherwise and there's no sort of he headings there breaking that up. Um, and again, they haven't yet got rewards, but that, that maybe is something they're working on. Um, and again, they can they can turn on that fundraising mode and get fundraisers um, fundraising for them. Yeah. And some quotes from the young people about what it means to be in the band would be great in there, I think, to help break it up. Absolutely. Cool. OK, well, I'm just I'm really conscious of time and uh, it's me talking too much. Um, there's a few things here. Campaign launches 17th of November. Um, ends December 19th formally as a, as a national campaign, but you can keep your pages open. You can, as you saw that um, Hyde Park Brass have done. So you can still, you know, if it doesn't all come in, we, we can extend that. But it's quite good to have a cutoff date because the jeopardy really helps people to get involved. Going, We're nearly there. We've nearly hit our £5,000 or whatever you're trying to raise. Really helps people to give towards the end. We see a huge spike the last three or four days. You get that eBay moment of, oh, I've got to buy it quick. And, um, you know, that, that really helps. Um, we're, we'll circulate this so you've got the links to, to uh, create your page, to join the next webinar, which is next week on Tuesday, 6 p.m. And um, we'll point you towards some other projects that you can go and have a look at that will really um, emphasize what we're up to. Here's, here's how to get in touch with us. We're here all the way. Don't be, worry. Don't feel like you're on your own. We're here to help. We'll, we'll help you get a great page up. We'll help you get it away and be give a successful campaign we we have um seven days a week coaching in di different forms um and you know here to help i'll stop there over to you sarah and kenny
Well, thank you so much, guys. Um, I hope that you found that really, really helpful. And for people certainly that haven't started doing the page yet, I hope you found that a bit of inspiration that you know where to get going now. Um, as I said, the, um, we've got the next um, webinar, which is on Tuesday. Um, I'll send an email out with, the, um, with all the slides and with a link to that so you can just register straight for that if you want to um, if you haven't already make sure that you've had a look at the playbook um, and just start digesting that and start looking at what you need to do and again if there's anything that um, you think you might have missed or, or anything like that just drop me an email and um, either me or Thea will make sure that you get it and before Kenny finishes off was there any questions that came up that I didn't address sorry I should have asked that I don't think so. I think um, Thea managed to answer them all. One of them that I thought um, that was um, worth um, just flagging for anyone in case everyone else hasn't seen it. Uh, Martin from Barnsley asked, um, said they've had a couple of donations over the last four or five weeks, but before the page is set up. So can we use those? And yes, you just need to send in the evidence of the offline funds raised and well, you, can, you can add that into your page. So even if the, it, you're not at launch point yet, you've got some stuff that's been going on in the background yes you still can it's a great way to get off zero that's great yes. yeah uh, um, just like one tiny bit of advice for anybody who's recording to video mm -hmm. there's a lot of really good and cheap um auto cue programs out there for, for yeah. iphone and ipad nowadays uh, it's when you're getting old and forgetful like me it's uh, really useful to have something like that right in front of you um, and, and the five things you've got to say, you've all remembered to do them in the right order mm -hmm. if you've got auto queue. So yeah. it's a really, really good tool. But um, no, thanks to thanks to um, Duncan and Thea and uh, Georgia, for crowdfunder for their amazing help on this. It's, it's a really exciting project. Um, you know, and all the bands that are involved in it so far, please tell your friends to get involved as well. And and, and other bands, there's there's money there for everybody. Every band in the, the whole of the UK could make a lot of money out of this, and the more that they make individually, the more they'll make collectively as well. Um, we've got some really exciting news coming up in the next couple of days. Um, so watch watch the BBE Facebook or the BBE website um, about our um, about our celeb um, guest who's going to be uh, promoting our campaign. Very well known uh, person. Um, I'm not going to give away any more than that at the moment. So you, you just have tease. to tease. You're a tease, you're going to have to keep going. You, you'll find out in good time, Duncan, don't you? <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, sure you I'm sure you'll think she's lovely. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, thanks again to everybody for getting involved. And, and good luck with this as well. And, uh, you know, give it your best shot. It's, it's really a, a great opportunity for everybody. So you know, get get everybody in your band working behind it and plot the creative, creative ideas. It's going to be fantastic. So, thanks.